Hey guys, it is definitely Sunday evening and it's a little late for me to be starting a vlog, but I plan to vlog this week as I go through some of my spooky books. I have just gotten rings in the mail, which this is what the movie The Ring is based on. And The Ring was the one movie from my childhood that I watched probably too young that scared the living daylights out of me and I have never rewatched it. So, I thought I would combine reading some of my spooky books for this vlog with also watching some scary movies. Some of which I've seen before but I have not watched in like probably 10 plus years. <laughs> and then I think I'm going to watch two that I have not seen yet. So, obviously, I plan to read Rings this week and watch The Ring. That'll be an interesting experience because I was absolutely terrified of that movie as a child and I am not a scaredy cat when it comes to scary movie movies at all. I used to watch scary movies like all the flippin' time <laughs> as a teenager especially. Like I thought they were fun and I'm very hard to scare. Which I find very ironic now that I read so much horror and like thrillers. <laughs> and then I also have this book called Ski and Island which I do not know very much about but I have heard recommended as a spooky read so it was cheap on thrift books and I picked it up. So I have these two that I plan on reading this week and I am also still annotating Imaginary Friend with Kate as we're doing our buddy reads so that will also be involved in this vlog but tonight I think I'm going to watch the first movie, Jeepers Creepers, which if you've never seen it, it's about this like creature that lives as a scarecrow and then comes to life every 20 years, 20 some years and like terrorizes the town. And there's two of them. So I might watch both of them this week, but they are scary movies that I remember really liking when I was younger. So I'm gonna watch that and then I will watch The Ring after I finish The Ring's book. And what else was I was on my list? I think I'm gonna watch the new version of Pet Cemetery because I have not seen that yet. And I have seen the original Pet Cemetery way back in the day, but like not enough for me to remember it. But Pet Cemetery is my favorite Stephen King, so I wanted to see the new version. I haven't heard very much about it to be completely honest. I don't know if it chapter two is on any streaming services but if I can find it for free I might watch that because I did watch chapter one and really liked it. And then there's a couple other scary movies that are on my like streaming list that I might check out this week but tonight we're gonna start with Jeepers Creepers and we have like the spooky vibes going we've got all of these I'm gonna turn my big lamp off to be in the dark. We got eh the candle going over here so time for spooky spooky season <laughs> as much as i would love to watch doctor who right now we're actually gonna watch jeepers creepers with our spooky vibes going on in here this is my family story commercial <laughs> Jeepers Creepers was okay. It was only like an hour and a half long and it is a little bit different than I remember. Apparently I remember Jeepers Creepers 2 better scene wise because I did not remember a lot of this movie but like out of five stars I would give it like a two and a half. It was fine. I might rewatch the second one just because I remember liking that one more but now I am watching John Wolfe who is a streamer and let's player. And he is playing called a Phasmophobia, no. where you hunt down ghosts as a team. Okay. So he's playing with a bunch of his friends, and it's really okay. fun. Um. Oh! oh my god, he's being scary. Yeah, BMF two. Oh, he's, he's, he's walked on the BMF four. BMF four. And I've really been enjoying his Let's Play series on Phasmophobia. So if you're into video games and you watch any Let's Players, number one, I recommend John Wolf because he is my favorite. And he's the only one I've consistently watched for like many years now, probably like four or five years. 
and yeah phasmophobia is like one game he's actually really afraid of he like thinks it's actually scary which is something about john is that he is not very scared by horror games at all and he's very hard to scare and very chill in most like horror games that he plays so i enjoy him because he doesn't scream the entire time like a lot of other let's players when they're playing horror video games but i'm probably just gonna watch this for the rest of the night and then go to bed so i will talk to y'all tomorrow Hello, it is the next day. I have just gotten home from work. It's like 5 30, 6 o'clock ish, and I am about to start annotating Imaginary Friend for the day. I am on page. That's wrong. I'm on page 440, and I am either going to read like 100 or so pages. Kate got to page 600. Don't know if that's going to happen today, but she planned to get a little bit ahead of me because she's not going to be able to do the buddy read tomorrow so yeah this is what it looks like so far as you can see we are very very annotated <laughs> all of these purple tabs are commentary on religion and these are some random things i've been keeping track of this is my key and there's eh, a lot going on in here I've had a lot to say, a lot more than I expected with Christian commentary, but yeah, we're going to try to read at least 100 pages or so tonight. And again, I plan to make my video on how and why this book is not Christian fiction. Even though there is a lot of Christian commentary, I wouldn't call it Christian fiction by any means whatsoever, having been a person that reads Christian fiction, so that video will be incoming. But yeah, I'm going to sit here and read for a while. It's probably going to take a little while because I annotate this so closely that it takes me like twice as long to read because I'm stopping constantly to annotate, but I plan to watch another scary movie tonight. I don't know which one, and I would like to start Rings, which is over here. Eh. I would like to start this tonight because the only thing I'm reading physically right now is Imaginary Friend and we plan to finish that in the next like two days. So I will need a physical read and I think this will be fast. It's like less than 300 pages and I want to rewatch The Ring. So I did rewatch Jeepers Creepers last night as I think I updated but it was not my favorite. I'll probably watch the second one because I remember the second one being better but yeah, that's the plans for the evening. I am going to annotate, which is probably going to take like two hours. <laughs> it is almost 9 p.m. and I would just like to point out that I started reading at like 6.30 and I have read 100 pages. <laughs> when I say I am closely annotating this book, I am not joking. Like, it should not take me two hours <laughs> to read 100 pages, but because I'm annotating the crap out of it and these last few sections have had crazy amounts of biblical references that I'm like literally stopping every couple pages to make a note like on a post-it and like write out exactly how that references to the bible but this is insane <laughs> so we only have like two more sections like I plan on finishing this either Tuesday or Wednesday today is Monday so I would like to get to page 600 which is the, where Kate got to because she's not gonna be able to read tomorrow but I'm currently on 537 and I'm kind of tired it's almost 9 p.m so the movie no movies will be happening tonight maybe I'll watch two movies either tomorrow or Thursday I think those are my evenings I have free I could even watch one Wednesday after church I guess but yeah I am currently debating whether I want to put this down for a little bit and just start rings. I'm thinking that's most likely what's going to happen because my eyes are tired of annotating because I've been doing it for two hours. But I am loving this reread. I'm so excited to make my why this book is not Christian fiction video because I've put a lot of work into this. And honestly, the rating for this book has gone up since last year, which I wasn't sure was going to happen.
So yeah, that's where we at on Imaginary Friend with all those purple dabs are Christian references of some sort. And then we have a million other tabs. And that's all I did with my evening. Sorry for not watching another scary movie. <laughs> but I will either update you tomorrow when I get home from work. Nothing gets done at work. Like, I will not be getting any reading done now that I have to watch a three-year-old and an infant. <laughs> so, yeah. These vlog clips will all take place after work, most likely. But I think I'm going to go start rings. So I'll either update you tonight or tomorrow. I don't know yet. about to head off to work. This is probably the only clip you'll see of me until after work. Also, my hair is like obnoxiously tall and large today because it's so dirty. So we're definitely gonna need to like wash this and shower later tonight, which will cut into our reading and scary movie watching time. I don't know which scary movie I'm gonna watch tonight. I'll think about that today. I remember asking you to do that. I continued to smoke with one hand while reaching inside my pocket with the other, trying to switch off Rachel's phone. You didn't, sir, but you did tell me to start showing some more initiative. Good morning for me, actually, at work because the baby is still sleeping and I have some time to myself at 7 a.m. <laughs> but yeah, I did not do any physical reading last night. I didn't even read Imaginary Friends. Sorry, Kate, I will read it today when um, I have the afternoon free while the baby is taking a nap. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to try to finish Imaginary Friend today. I think I have like 200 pages left, which if it if I was just reading, that probably wouldn't be a problem because I'm annotating. I'm not quite sure that I can do that, but I did not really feel good yesterday. I had a headache and it's like TMI almost my time of the month. So that's probably why. So I just kind of laid down and finished my audiobook instead of reading anything physically. Like I tried to read rings for a minute there. I think I even took a clip and didn't happen. It's also been incredibly rainy and stormy and just gross outside all week. And it's that again today. I literally woke up at like 6 a.m. and thought it was like 3 in the morning. It was so dark. But yeah, so I was not feeling good and I was really tired yesterday. So I just kind of laid down and listened and finished my audiobook of His and Hers by Alice Feeney. And it was fine. I give that like three and a half stars. It was a solid thriller. But I plan to get so much more reading done today. I also just didn't watch a movie last night, which I probably could have, but I didn't want to do anything with my eyes because headache. So I'm not sure that I have time to watch a movie today. Probably not, unless I watch one after church. I have church from 6.30ish to about 8, 8.30. So unless I start a movie at like... 8 30 9 o'clock like a really short one probably not watching a movie today so maybe i'll watch two tomorrow night because i want this vlog to go up on saturday and wednesdays and fridays i'm busy in the evenings so because of church so the movie watching is not going according to plan but it's fine everything's fine <laughs> also i have my david Tennant sweatshirt on today so that's making me happy but yeah, I'm going to try and get some of rings read today before the baby wakes up. And then we'll see how reading goes today. <laughs> Good morning. I did not vlog very much last night, mainly because I was trying my hardest to finish this book before church, and I did it. I read like close to 200 pages and annotated it. So here's the finished product. We have Imaginary Friend by Stephen Chbosky, which might be my most annotated book ever. Purple tabs are Christian references or like 
problematic Christian references when it comes to one of these characters, but yeah. <laughs> Again, there's so much purple, so much more purple than I was expecting because I had a ton, there was like a chunk towards the end of this book that I had so much Christian commentary on and I had a blast rereading this and my rating actually went up on Goodreads, which I don't think has ever happened to me upon re- I was telling Kate, I feel like my rereads, I usually have already given it five stars, so I never bump it up unless I'm like, oh, six out of five stars because I still love it so much. I gave this a 4.25 originally listening to it on audio last October, and for whatever reason, <laughs> reading it physically and annotating it looking for the Christian references made this so much more enjoyable to me. And I'm kind of shocked because I knew I really liked this. I even mentioned it in my favorite books of last year that I did earlier this year since I didn't wasn't on booktube at this time last year. So I don't know. I find it really interesting that the rating actually went up. That does not happen to me very often, but I'm about to go to work. I will leave this here. I also finished Rings yesterday. I don't think I chatted about that. It is uh, up there somewhere. Where? Th there. <laughs> On my horror and thriller shelf. So, I finished that. I could watch the Ring movie tonight. I might actually do that. I think I'm going to do that. And then I plan to start, pff, I think it's in my bag for work, <laughs> Ski and Island today. Hopefully, while the babies nap at the same time, if that happens. <laughs> but, Yeah. That's our reading plans for today, and I'm planning to watch The Ring tonight, which I really enjoyed the book. I gave it like a 4.25 stars, so I am off to work. I will talk to you later. A bunch of rocks had broken down into a bunch of smaller rocks and then into this. Apparently, geological process worked the same in Narnia, or Oz, or whatever this was. The willows were either osier willows, as I'd thought, or a close other world relative. The silvery leaves look- Hello. I was very bad at vlogging today, but I have, number one, finished Skeen Island, which I did not like, actually. Let me go grab that, because I'm going to get rid of it. <laughs> so, I finished Skeen Island at work today, and it was not good. <laughs> it was just- it was- not scary for one. I swear I heard somebody recommend this as a horror novel. It is not remotely a horror novel. Do not listen to that. Ignore anything I have said about being- it, like the cover looks like it would be a horror novel. It's not. It's kind of about gods and goddesses and like a somewhat interesting concept but it, I just sped read it and I would not have finished it if it wasn't like less than 300 pages so. Yeah, I finished that today and that was a disappointment. So, I am currently listening to my audiobook of The Hollow Places, which I've been waiting to come in literally all month because I love T. Kingfisher's other book, which was The Twisted Ones. And as soon as it starts to get a little bit darker, I think I'm going to watch The Ring. So, yeah, I didn't watch very many scary movies this week like I was planning to, but... I want the vlog to go up tomorrow, so it's fine, <laughs> but yeah, we're going to watch The Ring tonight, and that's probably going to be the end of this vlog, so I will let you know when that happens. Hello, I have just finished watching The Ring, <laughs> and let me tell you, if any scary movie has held up to my remembrance of it, of all the scary movies that I have watched in my lifetime, The Ring is definitely one of them. It still scares the crap out of me. I don't know if that's just nostalgia. Like, I rewatched it, which scared the crap out of me as a kid, like, the original one. And that doesn't scare me as much now, but it is the reason I'm scared of clowns. But, <laughs> yeah, no, this is one of the first scary movies 
that has held up and actually scared me as an adult. <laughs> I think I was probably like, it came out in 2002, so I would have been eight, nine, around then when I first watched it. Probably too young to be watching, like, a very scary movie. Also, apparently, it's rated PG-13. I feel like it should be rated R, but that's just me. <laughs> but yeah, that concludes my scary movie watching for the week and reading spooky books. I am going to continue to read spooky books next week. We still have a whole week of October left, but I'm going to end this vlog. Thank you all for watching, and I will see all of you guys next time.